The acceleration due to gravity experienced by an object falling depends on. Okay, so the acceleration due to gravity. So if we think about a building, okay, so we've got a building and we've got, um, let's say we are standing over here, okay, and we drop two different things. One of the things we drop is a feather, okay, that's a feather. And then the other thing is that we, we have a pet elephant. Now we take that pet elephant. Ooh, why did I choose an elephant? I hate drawing. Okay, here's my elephant. No judging me, please. Ooh, that's three legs in the front. Okay, there's my elephant. Okay, now um, we obviously know that the elephant is going to hit the ground first. Okay, ooh, this is actually a cruel question. Why would we be dropping an elephant? That's not good. Let's drop a rock. Let's drop a rock. So this is a rock, uh, rock and feather. Now we know from experience, um, I'm actually a national feather rock drop um, dropper. So yeah, 2019 world champion, by the way. Okay, no, that was a stupid joke. But listen, so we know that a rock would hit the ground first, okay? Now, so, so, so what this leads many learners to believe is that, ah, the mass of the object is what makes the difference. But it's actually not true. It's because of this thing of air resistance, which we don't study in high school, um, which actually affects the way that it works. But if you had to take air resistance away, there is an amazing video on YouTube, which I have posted sometime, but I'm not going to go do it now. But if you go on YouTube and you type in um, something like, um, NASA, uh, no air resistance, ooh, Kev, no air resistance, um, feather, feather versus um, bowling ball, something like that. Go watch that video, it's quite an old video, but what they do is they take, they take at NASA, right, um, they take this huge building and they suck out all of the air, so there's absolutely no air. What that means is no air resistance. And then what they do is they drop the feather, they drop a feather, and then they drop this big bowling ball. You know the one that you use at like, where you play temp and bowling? Um, they drop both of those, and you can go look and see for yourself what happens when there is no air resistance um, you can go see what actually happens, okay? Now, okay, so where am I going with this? So what I'm trying to tell you is that the mass of an object is not actually the thing, if we think about theoretical physics, it's not the thing that affects how fast something goes. Theoretically, if there was no such thing as air resistance, every single object on planet Earth would fall at exactly the same speed and it is not dependent on the mass. So let's go see. The acceleration due to gravity, it depends on, no, it's not the mass of the object. No, it's not the mass of the object. Um, no, it's not the mass of the object. It is C. It is only because of the mass and the radius of the planet. Okay, I will prove it to you. You know the formula Newton's law of gravity, which goes like this, gm1. Okay, but let's say that the two masses that we're talking about, you know it goes m1, m2, but let's say the first mass is a planet. Let's say it's Earth, and let's say the second mass is an object. And then we know that this is r squared. Now this is when you have a person or an object that is on the surface of the Earth. Here's the surface of the Earth, here's a person, um, chilling over there. Now, because they're on the surface of the Earth, this distance is also called the radius, okay? This is normally a D actually, but now we can say that it's the radius because the person is on the surface, so that distance is the radius of the Earth. Okay, now, F, what is F? F is um, force of gravity. Now, if I give you an object, a block, on a table, and I tell you um, that it's five kilograms, and I tell you what is the force of gravity, how would you work that out? You would say the mass multiplied by gravity, and that is what this F is, that is gravity. So I'm gonna change this to M, G. Now what M is this? Was it the mass of the Earth when I did this question, or was it the mass of the, um, was it the mass of the object? It was the mass of the object. So I can change this to M object. Now check this out. On both sides of this equation, we've got mass object. So we can divide by mass object. Let's get rid of it. Here's the important part. This formula, 
tells us that the gravitational acceleration, which we call small g, which is 9.8 on Earth, but it would be a different value on a different planet, is only dependent on g, which is a constant, and it's only dependent on the mass of the planet and in the radius of that planet to the power of two. It does not depend on the mass of the object because that was canceled out. And so that is what affects acceleration. It is only the mass of the planet and the Earth, um, the radius of the planet, sorry. It's got nothing to do with the mass of the object. But then Kevin, why does a feather fall slower than an elephant? Ah, if you're still asking that, you need to rewatch this question. I did explain it. That's due to air resistance, but we don't study air resistance in high school, and that's what causes a little bit of the confusion. Hope that helps, guys. So this answer is C.